Okay, problem 26. Problem 26 is log and that is 2 over y. That is equal to, looking at your rules now, um, it's a division problem. So it's going to be, and that turns into subtraction, log 2 minus log y. Number 28. Mm -mm. See ya. Is log base 2 x to the minus 2. That is going to be equal to, notice this x is raised to the power of negative 2. This power turns into a factor or multiple. So this is negative 2 times log 2 of x. Done. There's 30. 30. Here you have log x y cubed, x times y cubed. If you look at your rules, you have multiplication going on. So this turns into log of x plus log y cubed. And now this cubed, we are going to turn into a multiple or factor of the second term. So this becomes, that's y there, not x. So this turns into log x plus 3 times the log of y. 32. Here I have log one thousand times x to the fourth. That is equal to log 1,000 plus log x to the fourth. This, now remember, this is base 10. So 10 to some power equals 1,000. So, <clears throat> log to the 1,000, so this is base 10 right here. So 10 to what power equals 1,000? Well, that'd be 3. So this becomes 3 plus, and then this, this is your power, a log of something raised to a power. This becomes a multiple or factor. So this is 3 plus 4 log x. 
done. 34. 34. Here I have the natural log of the cube root of x over the cube root of y, which is equal to the natural log cube root of x over y, which is equal natural log one third power x over y to the one third power, which is equal to one third times the natural log of x over y. 36. Here I have log x plus log 5. And if you look at the instructions, they say use properties of logarithms to write the expression as a single logarithm. So we're going backwards with the rules now, and this just becomes log. So addition actually becomes multiplication. This just becomes 5x. Okay. Number 38. Here I have the natural log of x minus the natural log of y, which is going to be equal. Now this is subtraction, so this now becomes division. So this is the natural log of x over y. Here's 40. Here I have 1 fifth log z. So this turns into log z to the 1 fifth power, which is basically equal to log the fifth root of z. Forty-two. Here I have four times log y minus log z. And again, I would look at subtraction now becomes division. Right, so this become and this multiplier is actually a power. So we have log of y to the fourth over z. And finally you have forty-four, which is three times the natural log of x cubed y. plus 2 times the natural log of y z cubed, y z squared, sorry, y z squared. So this becomes natural log of x cubed y raised to the third power plus natural log y z squared raised to the second power. This in turn addition becomes multiplication so this becomes natural log of x cubed y cubed x actually that's going to be
x to the ninth, y cubed. And this becomes y squared, c to the fourth. Final answer is going to be natural log x to the ninth, y to the fifth, c to the fourth. And we're done.